Hey, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today we're testing out the brand new T-Motor AM850. All right, Dave's gonna get ready to fly his 85 inch Skywing RC Extra NG. And we've got the AM850 T-Motor with the AM216 amp ESC. Those are just released by T-Motor. And uh, it's spinning a 2410 T-Motor carbon fiber prop up front. So we're gonna do, today we're gonna do some power and weight testing. So we'll give you some measurements on how the motor performs and we'll get a flight in just in just a minute. You ready to go, Dave? Yeah, all control surfaces are checked, proper direction, every one of them. One more check and here we go, going up. So in addition to a brand new motor test, it's also a maiden for Dave on this airplane. Man, that is no trim. No trim. No, I'm gonna leave, I do want a little bit of, I'm gonna do a little bit of right and maybe one click up. All right, so first of all, I do wanna see the yaw test. A little bit to the left, I wanna do that again. Track's pretty good, straight down, we'll do that again. And it is blowing right to my face from the north, so. We'll try Before that. we get any farther into the video, I want to thank T-Motor for sending the AM850 195 kV motor out for review. Uh, they also included the 216 amp ESC that goes with it, running BL Heli 32. We'll talk about that in a little while. And they included the T-Motor carbon fiber 2410 prop up front. Beautiful prop. Uh, Dave, when he was setting up the plane, said it was perfectly balanced right out of the box. And just listening to it, it sounds fantastic. All right, yaw trim is good. It sounds Beautiful. like you could pull tree stumps with that thing. Just a little bit of an arc. All right, let's see what the motor can do, which is the whole purpose of this video. There you go. Perfect. No hesitation. Plenty of authority on that big old 85 inch airframe. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. We already weighed it at 18 and a half pounds. So that's what we're doing all up weight in the air. Let's do that, uh, that acceleration on vertical again. That's cool, so cool about that. Think about it, it's heavier than a bowling ball. <laughs> and you're accelerating straight up. Look at that. Nice. All right, Dave, your initial thoughts on the motor. Oh, you hear it. It's, ni it's nice and quiet. It's very nicely built, first of all. It is very, very nicely built. Uh, it's quiet, it's powerful, and we're not even using the bigger prop we can use with it. So, yeah, I like it, nice. And the ESC is huge, very well built too. Yeah, 216 amp ESC. High voltage, 12S. Uh, he's got six cell, two 6L 5000s in there in series for 12S. So Dave, any issues with the performance of the motor? Any stutter, desync? Oh, no, 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 no. Here, I'll tell you what, let's do, I do have an idle up. Let me bring the idle up all the way out. There you go. So the idle up is out. Out, on. I hear a little bit. Yeah, I hear a little clunk There's a little there. bit of a thumping, and that's no breaker or none of that stuff. But 
usually we cure that with just a little bit of up trim and that's a lot of them do that yeah okay there you go hi right, man you know what because it's the first flight and we know nothing about the airplane i want to i want to practice a couple of landings yeah good idea just in case and we got the wind. It actually doesn't really matter. No, it does. I felt it from my left. Okay. Okay, landing. Touch and go. I am gonna stop because I wanna set my idle up again. Whoa! I don't know where that come from. Okay, wait a minute. Let me set my idle up. Okay, there you go. Go back up again. That's the timer. Bring it down. That was six minutes. Six minutes? Yes. Hmm. Okay. I could have been better than that, but good enough. Yeah, first landings, man. Yeah. Better to inspect rather than risk. It, it kind of sunk a little more than I expected it to, but there's no hardly any wind at all, so yeah. let's blame it on that. Man, I love the motor. I love the ESC. Listen to the motor. The motor is nice and quiet. It's got all kinds of power. We still got more power to go because we're using a smaller prop. They recommended this one for this. Uh, the ESC is uh, it's a 216. It's very big. It's huge. All right, next up, we're going to do some weights and measures, give you guys an idea how it performs on the bench, and then we'll wrap the video up. First up is the watt test. We're using two China Hobby Line 6S 5070C packs in series for 12S, so you can see 50 volts right there, and Dave's going to spool it up whenever you're ready, Dave. All right, here goes. I thought, I thought I saw about 116 amps, but I'm having a hard time with the screen, so let's run it one more time. Okay, goes one more time. There we go. All right, I saw... I saw 108 amps and 4,800 watts, so... 4,800 4, watts. Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's we'll see. We'll see how much the plane weighs here. Yeah, we'll see bit. how much it weighs. So 4,800 4, watts and 108, 108 amps. Okay. You, you didn't happen to catch the voltage, did you? No. Don't matter. We'll catch it in post. Yeah, we don't care. Okay, we're going to do our thrust test. It is set on pounds. Dave, whenever you're ready. All right, let me pull back on this. There we go. All right, here we well, go. Hold on, hold on. You potentially let me tear it. Oh, hold on. Okay, now we're zeroed out again. Go ahead. All right, I saw about 41 and a half pounds of thrust on this one. So 41 and a half pounds of thrust. Okay. All right, weight and balance is next. Dave, go ahead and lift her up. Okay. It's and on the air. 18.7. That's what I thought. All right, 18.7 all up. All right, we'll put the uh, measurements in post with all the calculations so you've got an idea on power to weight. All right, so just rough numbers. We're, we're thinking it's around 260, 270 watts per pound, and we're thinking about 
2.5 to, to 1 power to weight, 2.3, 2.5. We'll do the math and put it in post for you. Right, and keep in mind, this is not the biggest prop the motor will take. This is the 24. It can take a 25, but this is what they supplied for yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah. All right, at the end of the day, it looks like the T-Motor AM850 195 kV motor performs about as expected for this style of airplane. One thing we wanted to make sure we spent a little bit of time talking about is the fact that they are using BL Heli 32 firmware on the AM216 ESC. Be aware that firmware is discontinued. Now, that doesn't mean you can't fly it. It's fine. It works. I will put a link in the description for... A download on my discord for the proper version of EL, BL Heli 32 that you need to configure the the CSC and one thing I really want to make sure we point out is that when Dave and I were setting this up Dave came over he said hey man is braking for some reason and we checked the settings it was not the braking on the on the ESC brake setup that was causing the problem it was called non damped mode and the non damped mode was set to off you need to set that to on and I think the reason for that is the BL Heli 32 firmware has its roots in quads where they've got to be very prescriptive about the exact RPM in order to get a quad to work right. And on airplanes, we don't want that. We want it to freewheel when we go from a higher power level to a lower level, a little more calm. It's not as uh, deterministic on the speeds. Dave, you mentioned during the install, the connectors were already installed. So yes. you're talking about the ESC to motor connectors. The ESC to motor connectors yeah. already pre-installed and they include some clear heat shrink if in case you're the one of the people that like to hook them up and then shrink them together. Yeah. They include that. You do need to do your own uh, your own uh, uh, battery, battery connector, of yeah. course. And they got uh, the ESC you can bolt, you can mount screw it. It's got the holes to screw it to the, to the plate down there. And uh, the ESC has a very long, very long lead for the battery yeah which is a issue with some of them that are very short and you gotta put capacitors and stuff oh yeah it's great it's it's, it's very good fantastic it has a fan which we're not using here because we don't need it but it comes with a fan also okay just remember to program it you'll need that am link programmer and bl heli 32 software to configure it and don't forget don't forget the setting it's called the what was that setting called the non-damped mode Oh, yeah, the, the, the dam setting. <laughs> it's called the dam setting, and that's a really good name. That's very smart because after two hours of trying to take the brake off, we finally said, this is the dam setting. Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> and it was called the dam setting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's funny. All right, well, thanks to T-Motor for sending this motor out for review. Very I'll have good. a link in the description if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. If you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel get placement on videos out there with YouTube. Hey, just really quick, out of the thing. That is the 85 laser, isn't it? Yeah. That's, you know what, man? That is a nice plane. That airplane is almost as good as this one. Almost? Almost. Almost, almost. as good as this one, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll put it up there and find out. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. That's all i got for today. Take it easy. Hasta la vista. And go fly something. <laughs> all right.